in the shoe because I got caught on the cell phone. <laughs> Your boy told you. <laughs> he told you. But I, I said, I'm I'm to take my chance. I last two years. Right. And I got caught because someone got caught and he told us where we, they, where we hit our phone because they set up a raid. And they went right to my spot. You and the Stings, man. Yeah. You get caught up in and, the Sting and, and, in prison, And, and, and I know, because when you get caught on certain things, you can't come back. You go into the shoe, and you can transfer it. When you come back to the yard, everybody know you cooperated. See, there's certain things you wouldn't have to say. Everybody know the, the, oh, how wow. everything works. Wow, wow. I so I'm like, you. hold on, how you get busted you come back? You snitched. Oh, uh, yeah, he told something. Sure enough, that 10 o'clock count came. I was on my way to go get my phone, and while I'm in there getting my phone, because I had a good hiding place, I got the phone, so by the time I come out, the raid hit. So they they patting everybody down, so I'm trying to figure out how to get this phone off me, and I'm like, damn. But they're not checking me. They're not patting me down because I had shorts on. Right. So they're not patting me down, but this one police keep looking at me because I'm trying to figure out, can I just throw another thing and flush it out of the toilet, but it was, it was too wide. So I try to find uh, a split second, so I thought I did, and I put it in the bucket, but it made noise when I threw it in the bucket. And, oh, <laughs> I got a book, so I went, I went to the shoe, but um, that was crucial. But I learned to adjust in there too. How long were you in there? Fourteen days. So you fourteen days solitary confinement? Five, yes, um, twenty four hours. Just you go out, just take a shower like every three days. They'll let you go out at 6 a.m. if you want to, but or 5 a.m. Nobody was going out on 5 a.m. So what was the most difficult part about those 14 days? They were long <sighs> days, weren't they? You only time was able to only knew how we was able to tell time, because the lights never went off in our in our um oh, unit. No, man. It was when child time was. Cause we know when child time is. So when the, the breakfast, lunch, and dinner, that's how we was able to tell time. So when you're in the shoe, and, and um, we're going to wrap this up in a little bit. When you're in the shoe, they don't make you do anything. You just have to stay in that room. I have to stay in that room. Period. Period. And in, 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 in a camp, you got um, secure stalls for the shower, secure stalls for the restroom, and privacy. You got privacy. Right. And the shoe, you don't. You got the you and your roommate got the cellmate bunk. You got to put a sheet over the cover so you got some privacy. You know when you had to go take a number two or something. And yeah, it was pretty different. So when you so you were actually in a when you were in the shoe, you had somebody in the room with you. Yes. Oh wow. Somebody in the camp. Somebody in the camp got caught the same. I got caught. So you're both in solitary confinement, but with each other. Yeah. Sometimes they put three of us in there. Oh wow! Yeah, it was it was, it was weird. Because we was all campers, we was all campers. We wasn't we wasn't uh, maximum security, so they put us all together. Yeah, because it, you know my definition of that is all, only what I've seen on television. You're in the, in the in the room by yourself. Nah, that's 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 a that's a troubled, deranged person. You know who violent. They kind of put them because they can't trust them with nobody else. 